How's it going everyone? Welcome to Double Pepper. So today, uh, I'm going to give a little bit more information on my staff guide which is part 2. So if you have not checked out my original staff guide, do check it out first. Uh, I'll put the link in the description and check it out and then after that you can come here and look at part 2 alright. So, um, today is just a little bit of uh, expansion because I found out about this recently like a few weeks ago but I, got, uh, I was just too busy to do it. So anyway, uh, have you ever find a player, bought a player like uh, maybe Ronaldo and then you see that his highest rated position is a winger, it's on the winger but when you put him in the striker position or the centre forward position you find that he's overall increased by one or two. Now, this kind of scenario happens with a lot of different players like if you buy uh, Tony Cruz for example and then his best position before when you see him in the market is like Cam but after you put him in your team you realise that his overall is actually higher in the centre mid position compared to Cam so this sort of phenomenon happened for a long time I had no idea why this happened and I always thought it's like a bug you know, it's like a bug that caused their overall to be high in other position. But then I found out why, and um, the reason is actually quite simple, is uh, your stuff, okay? So it seems like above a certain limit, you know, when each attribute over shots in, uh, exceeds a certain limit, your overall might increase. Now, I'm going to say that whatever I'm going to tell you now is for overall fanatics, people who are concerned with high overall like myself, okay? It is not likely going to affect the actual performance of the player, okay? So if you know what I'm saying, let's carry on. So, there is actually a place for you to see how your stuff will affect the overall of each of your players and that is our FIFA Addict website. So, I'll put the link in the comment section, sorry, the description section as well and then we'll, you can just go and check it out for, for yourself, okay? So when you're at the FIFA Addict page, right, if you look at the top right hand corner right here, you will see a tab called Log In with Facebook. So you're gonna log in with Facebook now. Now uh, this is something that shocked me because I never thought you can log into FIFA Addict. That was how stupid I was. Anyway, once you log in with uh, Facebook right or whatever other means that you have you can actually click it down from the right hand corner there's arrow here and you can see something called FO3 my stuff okay so if you click on FO3 my stuff you go to a page where you get to insert uh, each and every one of your stuff so for example if you want to I've already saved uh, my stuff over here all these are my stuff so if you want to edit you can just click here and then you can edit, you now you can choose which exactly which coach is it and then you can choose the attribute and how much is the boost okay so after you are done you just click save edit okay so every time um, you search for players now so let's just look at one of them or this text calculator yeah the search form okay so let's just go for a random player maybe I'll go for Paul Pogba alright so when you click on search for a particular player and you click into his stats okay what you will realize now is that uh, this is the normal stats okay which is without the staff boost but if you look at this area over here okay this bar orange bar over here you see something called plus my stuff over here and that will when you click this okay it is going to show you all the attribute bonuses that is added into the player okay so let's say my stuff and you have to and then there's another part on this left side okay this allow you to choose like your grade your level your bonuses so i'm gonna just explain this a little bit just stay patient okay so grade is obviously plus what lah so for example my pop bar is plus two so i'm gonna use plus two pop bar is at level 20 and the bonuses is like your overall boost so let's say yours is a full uh, upgraded team so you've got extra plus one overall right and you can click it here okay so for me uh, I think that uh, is uh, plus two overall because uh, plus three overall okay because uh, I've got the full world best team which gives me a plus two overall uh, boost and then I've got the upgraded player color that's quite crazy right anyway upgraded player color so that's another plus one so the total is plus three so this is the total boost that is given to my player in my squad okay 
and then these will be the stats that is going to be reflected in your team and if you take a look at the overall here you will be able to see the exact overall in each and every position uh, for this particular player as you can see my Paul Pogba is a uh, pretty crazy in the sense that he can play in almost any position and the overall only drops by one see look notice that certain position his his boost is plus three right here okay and then certain position his boost is only plus two and that is because of the trust hole thingy you know above a certain trust hole for a certain position the overall increases so i give you a better example here which uh, is going to illustrate this fantastic feature a little bit better we'll go for world best pk which I know very well okay so world best PK we know he's a center back okay and when you look at the uh, let's off the my star first okay when you look at the market PK okay you will see that he's this is the new upgraded one uh, but in ours you will see that his overall is I think 84 if I'm not wrong 84 and then his CDM is 80 or 81 if I'm not wrong let's let me just check okay so I've checked and uh, for world best PK in our server at center back he's 84 and at CDM he's 82 okay which means a reduction by 2 so generally for overall buffs uh, like me I won't want to use him at CDM because his overall drops by a lot but now when I click on my stuff boom you can see that his overall for CDM is plus 3 and then his overall for center back is plus 1 which means that his overall is uh, the same at CDM at center back so this is something that will give you a quick overview on where your player has the highest overall position okay and non not to forget this also give you a very good way to decide which stuff you want to boost okay so if you can just go to uh, click on the right hand corner go to f tree my star click on edit button and play around with the attribute until you find a specific set of stuffs that gives you the ideal overall that you like okay and that is uh, going to be very helpful so i hope you guys um, i'm not sure how many of you know about this because i really don't know like open my eyes to a brand new feature to expand into the fo3 community uh, universe okay so i hope you guys find this helpful and uh, let me know in the comment section below if there have any other discovery or there's even more uh, things that we can add from fifa adding all right so do for uh, don't forget to subscribe to this video or uh, not to this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, drop a comment and give this video a thumbs up if you like this and don't forget to share with your friends and i hope to see you soon